Welcome to this demonstration on accessing Cloud Volume Service from multiple AWS accounts. So this is our Cloud Volume in US West 1, and I'm going to try and access that from a EC2 instance I've just created in a new AWS account. And you see that I cannot access, I have 100% packet loss. So let's take a look at the new account. We see the instance running there. Let's take a look at our VPC, and we see we have the, the default VPC we have the default subnets and our route tables have just the local. So this is not being configured for Cloud Volume Service. We can see from our Direct Connects that we have no virtual interfaces, uh, no Direct Connect gateways or virtual private gateways. Let's move over to AWS Organizations and I'm going to move over to our master account. Under Organizations, we can see that we have three different accounts. We have the master account here, and we have one for our developers. That's where we tried to access Cloud Volumes from unsuccessfully. Now I'm going to use the AWS Resource Access Manager, and I'm going to make a copy of our account ID first. Now we're going to look at settings. If I click on this, which I've already done, I can share between any account in my AWS organization. So let's create a resource share. We give this a name. I'm going to call this uh, Access to Cloud Volumes. Then we choose the resources we're going to share. We're going to share both of our subnets. I'm going to unclick this because I cannot share subnets yet between external accounts. Now I'm going to paste in my AWS account. This is a sub account. And then I create my resource share. It could take a few minutes to create. We can take a look to see what we've shared. Under shared resources, we see we've shared the two subnets. And if we look at principles, it will show us the account or accounts plural that we've shared that resource with. Let's take a look back at the first account and see what it looks like now we've shared those resources. Let's just confirm we have the same account number. Now let's take a look at the resource access manager from this account. And we're going to take a look at resources that are shared with me. We see access to cloud volumes is shared. We see the two subnets are shared to us. And we see they're being shared from the master accounts ID. Now, if we take a look at the VPCs, we actually see we now have two VPCs. We had one before. The top VPC, if we scroll over, we see that is actually shared. And we can see it's owned by the master account. If we take a look at the subnets, we now have two additional subnets. Again, those are shared from the master account. And if we look at the route tables, this is the route table that's shared. And we had to do no configuration here. All of this was populated for us. So now let's try mounting a cloud volume again from this sub-account. We're going to create a new instance and we're going to choose the VPC that's shared. It gives us access to the shared subnets. That's all I really need to do. I just make sure I have a key so I can access it. Now I've uh, SSH'd to my instance. Let's see if we can ping the IP address again for our cloud volume. So let's get that IP address one more time. Paste that in and we can successfully ping. So we should be able to mount. So let's see what show mount tells us. We see all our volumes. Let's try mounting one. That's successfully mounted. See, we have 41 gigabytes of data in there. And we can access that data. So in this demonstration, we've seen how the AWS Resource Access Manager enables us to share resources between accounts in the same organization, and sharing subnets enables us to share cloud volumes between accounts. Thank you for watching, and to learn more, go to cloud.netapp.com.